Hi friends, it's your VMR. Welcome to VMR Logics YouTube channel, guys. Because of many students' requests, all of you, I started this VMR Logics YouTube channel. In this channel, guys, you are going to get easy methods to solve difficult questions with different approaches. Okay, there's a major thing first. And second point, all of you, how to crack the exam. To crack the exam, any competitive examination, to crack the any competitive examination, what are the points you need to follow? That points. And the next is proper explanation for all the questions you are going to get. Doubt clarification, sir, of you are going to get through comments. In today's class, guys, to crack any competitive examinations, you need to follow just five points, sir, of you. Just only five points. If you follow those five points, enough. You can reach the goal easily. Among them, the first point is what are the how to make the calculation part easy? That's the first point. How to make the calculation part easy? Very simple. What are the values given in the examination? You just cancel that value and you take a comfortable value. Based on this, we are going to see some examples, guys. Let's see. Not only one topic, guys, any topic you take, averages, ratio proportion, percentages, profit and loss, compound interest, simple interest. Time and distance, all these topics, guys. What are the values are given in the examination? You cancel those values and take one comfortable value. What value you are taking based on that, the problem becomes easy. In the examination, what are the value is given? If you take that value, you will get you will get the answer, no doubt, but you won't get the job. Let's see a few examples. One question today we'll take from percentages. One from ratio proportion, one from time and distance, one from compound interest. Like we will see different questions and how to cancel the values. That we are going to see today's class. Okay. The question is, in a, in a village, there are 28,690 people are there, out of which one is the females and the rest are males. In the females 10%, in the males 20% are children. My question now, I just want to know percent of adults. I repeat question. Uh, there is a village, I love you, a small village. In that, there are 28,690 people are there in the village. Out of which, one eighth are females and the rest are males. In the females, 10%. In the males, 20% are children. Now the question is, I just want to know percent of adults, right? This one, actually how to solve? And most of the people, how you are solving? Let's see the difference of that. Now the question, if you look, 28,690 people are there. Out of which, one eighth of females, and the rest are males. In the females, 10% are children. In the males, 20% are children. My question, percent of adults, is the question. Look after the question. Total 28,690 out of which one eighth of females and the rest are males. In the females 10% are children. In the males 20% are children. My question to you guys just want to know percent of adults. Right? Now look. How to solve this question? Actually how to solve? Simple guys. First thing. What are the values given in the exam? Just cancel the value. First thing. What are the values given in the exam? Just cancel it. Strike it off the value and assume a comfortable value. If you observe, here by 8 is there. So what I am doing, you know, I am taking there are 800 people are there in the village. Just 800 people I am taking. Now look at the calculation now. Out of 800, come on, what is one eighth of people? One eighth is exactly 100 people. This 100 are females. And rest is how much? Rest are 700. These are males. In the females, 10% are children. Come on, what is 10%? 10, there are children. And in the males, 20% are children. What is 20%? To just cancel, just multiply, 140 are children. In the females, 10 are children. In the males, 140 are children. And the total children are 150 are total children. Out of 800, 150 are total children. So, out of 800, 150 are children. So what about adults then? The rest is adults. So rest is 650 are adults. Now the question, 
I just want to know adult percentage. There are 800 people are there, out of which 650 are adults. I just want the percentage. So simple. 650 by 800 into 100. Cancellations. 8 8s are 64. 1. 8 1s are 8. 2. 8 2s are 16. And 5. 81.25% is the adults. Actually, this is the way you need to calculate. But most of the people, what they do, if you observe, what they do in the exams. There are 28,690 people are there. Out of which, one eighth are females and the rest are males. In the females, 10% are children. In the males, 20% are children. Fine percent of adults is the question. So how most of the people, they solve? Simple. What are the values given in the exam? They take the same value. They take the same value and they calculate. Now calculation of this. Out of this, one eighth is calculations. If you observe how most of the people they saw actually, if you look, what they do, you know, 28,690 are there, out of which one eighth are female, they calculate by eight, they calculate, they'll get 3586.25. And the rest, rest means subtracting this, are getting 25,103.75. Now in this, 10 percentage 10 percentage is 358.625 and 20 percent are children these are the children i got total children i got i'm calculating children percentage 18.75 so out of 100 percentage these are the children so the rest is adults the rest are beauty but this calculation if you do with the hand in the examination if you take the same value and if you solve Minimum you require 10 minutes time or 5 minutes even if you are worried about any calculations you require 5 minutes time But in the examination guys your target you need to solve the question in 40 seconds That's the target you need to keep So to achieve that target you are not supposed to take the value what are the values given by them First what you do simple cancel the value what are the values given by them you just cancel the value and take a comfortable value This is the way if you solve then the problem become very easy the point what you need to know by seeing the question you need to identify this value i can strike that you need to know first thing how do you know the value of that the point how do you know when to strike the value when to not to strike the value that we need to observe it's now continuation second question now the similar model let's see now the question now in our nation there are 25,670 employees are there out of which one seventh are senior employees and the rest are junior employees. In the senior employees, 16.3 percent are females. In the junior employees, 12.5 percent are females. My question now: I just want to know the percent of males in the organization. Question, right? Now look at the question. In our organization, there are 25,670 employees are there. Out of which one seventh are senior employees and the rest are junior employees. In the senior employees, 16 to by 3 percent are females. In the junior employees, 12.5 percent are females. My question, percent of males. I repeat question, observe. In our organization, there are 25,670 employees are there. Out of which one seventh are seniors and the rest are junior employees. In the seniors, 16 to 3 percent are females. In the juniors, 12.5 percent are females. The question now, I just want to know percent of males. Question. Now listen, <coughs> guys. A ninth, generally, most of the people, what they do, they take the as it is value, and they solve the question. No doubt, you'll get the answer. No doubt. But the point actually, if you take the same value, guys, calculation burden. You know, if you take the same value and you calculate, minimum 5 minutes required to solve the question. So what to do? How to make the calculation part easy? Simple. How to make calculation part easy, you know? The point only one thing, what are the values given by them? You just strike off. I repeat, what are the values given by them? You just strike off and take a comfortable value. Now, you know, I just cancel the value and I am taking a comfortable value. What I should take? In the previous question, by looking 7, in the previous question, we have taken 700. In the previous question, if you look, 1 8th of females 
and the rest are males. In the females 10%, in the males 20% are children. We are taking 5% percent of adults. While solving that question, I consider only this 8 and I took 800, right? But now if you look, in the previous question, the percentages are easy. So what I'm doing, I'm not focusing on them. I just look only the 8. Another point here, percentages are tough here. Do you know fraction value of 16 by 3? 1 by 6. And 12.5? 1 by 8. Like if you observe, 50% fraction value, 1 by 2. Similarly, 16 by 3, 1 by 6. 12.5, 1 by 8. Previous cases, the percentages are easy. So, I am not focusing these percentages. I just took only 8. Now, the percentage that tough is there. So, what I am going to do? I will consider the 7, 6, 8 all. So, what are the values given in the question? Just cancel the value first point. Cancel the value. And what you are taking? Just observe a few. Here, 7, 6, 8 are there. So, you just take 7 into 6 into 8. These many employees are there in the organization. 7 into 6 into 8. And don't multiply guys. Don't multiply it. Just leave as it is. 7 into 6 into 8. Those many employees are there. Out of which now, 1 seventh are seniors. What is 1 seventh part of this? 7 table 1 time. So 1 into 6 into 8. 1 into 6 into 8. Once again, don't multiply. Now look, there are totally 7, 6, 8 employees are there. 7, 6, 8 employees are there. Out of which, 1, 6, 8 employees are seniors. Obviously, the rest are totally 7, 6, 8 are there. Here, 1, 6, 8. So what is the rest? Rest is 6, 6, 8 are juniors. Among them, 1, 6 are females. What is 1, 6 are of you? Now don't say 1 into 1 into 8. Just simply say 8. So, 8 are females. Now, what is 1 8th of this? 8 table cancel 1 times 6, 6 are 36 are females. And 36 and 8, now total females are 44 are the total females. Out of, out of 7, 6, 8, out of 7 into 6 into 8, this is the females I got. The question now, I just want percent of males. So, you can calculate female percentage and then you can give male percentage. Female percentage how we calculate. 44 by 7 into 6 into 8. 44 are the fem females out of this much. So I am calculating female percentage. So 4 table 11 times. 4 table 2 times. Into 100 is there. And 2 table 50. 2 table 3 and 25. So calculation of this, 1125 sir, 275 by 21, 21 table 1 times 21, 3 times 63, 2 by 21. Okay, this is approximately 13.13% approximately, not exactly, approximately 13% are female, females. I am not asking females this, I want percent of males. Out of 100%, 13% are females, the rest is what? 87% are males, this is answer. Now guys, imagine the same question now, if you take the same value and solve it, and check how much time you are going to take. So point all of you, remember, what are the values given in the examination to you? You are supposed to cancel the value and take a comfortable value. But now guys, nowadays if you look, majority of the people, you know guys, what are they, what they are doing? Whatever the value is given in the question, they are taking as it is values. No doubt, if you take the same value, no doubt you get answer. But you will not get the job. Job you won't get. Answers you will get. If you take as it is value, what are the values given in the exam, right? So first thing, you need to cancel the value. If you follow this point, all of you, you can raise the goal easily. So you need to follow overall five points are there. If you follow all the five points, definitely you can reach the goal. Out of the, out of the five points, the first one is cancel the value. What are the values given in the exam? Cancel it and take a comfortable value. That's the point, the first point. We'll see some more examples based on this. Not only percentages topic, guys. Not only percentages. Let's take profit and loss, time and distance, ratio proportion, averages. You take any topic. What are the values given in the exam, guys? 
you cancel the value you cancel it but if you, what are the values given in the exam you cancel it and take a comfortable value right let's see one more example guys now till now we have seen two examples now let's see one more example the similar question the topic is now from time and distance we will say a question the question is a man travel one seventh of the distance at a speed of 50 km per hour and the rest at a speed of 80 km per hour find average speed if it covers a total distance of 2, 3, 4, 5 km now question once again guys if you look most of the people what they do whatever the value is given in the exam they take the same value and they solve and you know what they say they used to say, talk outside so paper is too lengthy sir and calculation so much hard calculation first thing the point what you need to know is what are the values given in the exam you need to cancel the value now I'll do one thing first I'll, I'll cancel it and I'll take a comfortable value and solve next I'll take the same value on solving then you can see the difference how the questions now question guys a man traveled totally 2345 kilometers out of which one seventh distance he traveled at a speed of 50 and the remaining distance he traveled at a speed of 80 now question I just want to know average speed so average speed formula is total distance traveled by total time taken this is the average speed formula generic formula average speed is total distance travel totally what is the distance travel and totally how much time taken to find average speed formula right now if I take the same value then it's very calculation burden so simple point what are the values given in the exam total distance actually total distance travel is given to you 2345 kilometers is given you cancel that value guys you cancel it you cancel whatever value is given cancel it and now take a comfortable value what value you are taking that is most important here whatever the value is given in the exam you cancel it and next what is the comfortable value you are taking that if you know the problem becomes dead easy now I will take you know what are the value 50 and 80 LCM is what how to calculate LCM if you observe 50 80 LCM biggest number is what 80 biggest number this I am writing as 10 into 5 10 is there in 80 missing is 5 so 5 this is your LCM so just I assume total distance is 400 into in the denominator 7 is there so by 7 in the denominator 7 is in the by 7 is there so I am taking into 7 here so guys I just assume total distance is 400 into 7 is the total distance what are the values given I just cancel the value and take a comfortable value now now in this now what is one seventh distance guys what is one seventh distance one into four hundred is the one seventh distance seven table one time and the rest of is total seven of four hundred sade total seven four hundred sade out of which one four hundred is over what is the rest all of you six four hundred are rest six four hundreds now the average speed formula is what total distance traveled by total time taken come on total distance travel is what 400 into 7 by now time I require I want the total time how much time taken how much time taken to travel this part and how much time taken to travel this part I need to calculate time formula distance by speed per hour I am traveling 50 kilometers per hour I am traveling 50 kilometers to travel 400 kilometers I need a time of 8 hours next per hour I am traveling 80 kilometers Per hour, I am traveling 80 kilometers to travel 400 kilometers. I need a time of 5 hours, 5 6 are 30 hours. So, 4 into 400 into 7 by 38, 2 table 19 and 200, 1400 by 19 is the answer. This is average speed. Okay, guys, if you look what I did. What are the values given in the exam? You cancel it. The topic, it may be anything, guys. Averages, you take ratio, proportion, percentages, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, time and distance, you take any topic, guys. To make the calculation part simple, the first most important point, 
what are the ex values given in the exam to cancel the value and take a comfortable value now the point is just how to identify I can cancel this value I should not touch the value how to identify it? that if you attend like regularly all the classes if you see then you will get to know how to cancel the values okay now now this question I take the same value and I solve then I'll show you the difference now if you solve in this manner hardly you require 40 seconds time to install the question but if you take the same value then situation observe now look at this the same question now if I take the same value what happens if you take the same value so totally I am covering 2, 3, 4, 5 kilometers out of that 1 7th I am calculating 1 7th is 335 I need to calculate 1 7th part and the rest is nothing but what I should subtract this part I am getting 2010 next average speed formula total distance traveled by total time taken so total distance is what 2, 3, 4, 5 kilometers and total time time indicating distance by speed so this is the distance I covered with the speed of 50 so 335 kilometers I am covering with the speed of 50 so average speed time taken is 335 by 50 here time taken 2010 by 80 now 2345 by calculation of this and calculation of this this is 25.125 if I add these two see the calculations here calculation here one calculations again the big division these all are time consuming guys so the point if you take the same value on solving no doubt you require minimum 5 minutes time to solve the questions so major point guys what are the values given in the exam you cancel the value and take a comfortable values okay what to take the value what is the comfort value how to know the comfort value that you will get to know if you attend frequently all the classes okay this is a new just a demo class I am just showing how the people you are solving to solve how you are solving in the exam and actually how to solve that I am showing in this demo class okay now let us see a question from ratio proportion guys question is the weight of Ram and Sham are in the ratio the weight of two friends Ram and Sham are in the ratio 4 is to 5 and their total weight is 128.625 kgs Ram weight increased by 10% total weight increased by 15% by what percentage did the weight of Sham increase question I repeat guys there are two friends are there Mr. Ram and Sham the weights are in the ratio 4 is to 5 and the total weight is 128.625 that is the total weight of Ram and Shyam together now Ram weight increased by 10 percentage guys and the total weight increased by 15 percentage the question now by how much person did the weight of Shyam increase the question ok uh, from ratio proportion guys so if you look Ram Shyam weights are in the ratio 4 is to 5 and the total weight is given to you 128.625 Ram weight is increased by 10 percentage Total weight increased by 15 percentage By how much percent Sham weight increase? Question Look you know Ram Sham weight 4 is to 5 ratio Total weight is this one Ram weight 10 percent increase Total weight 15 percent increase By how much percent Sham weight increase? Question Now If I take 128.625 is the total weight and if I divide in the ratio 4 is to 5, 4 parts Ram weight, 5 parts Sham weight and total weight is 9 parts and that I am taking the value of that then it is very difficult. So point guys, what are the values given in the examination? You just cancel it. What are the values given in the examination to you? You just cancel it and you take one comfortable value whatever you feel comfortable you take that and what value you are taking based on that the problem becomes easier hard now if you look what value you should take you know this is 4 parts and 5 parts so obviously 9 parts is combined weight so 900 is the weight of Ram and Sham let's take a value of 900 now if you take 900 Ram weight Sham weight are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 so Ram weight is 400, Sham weight is 500, total weight is 900. Now Ram weight increased by 10 percentage, total weight increased by 15 percentage. By how much percent Sham weight increased? Come on, guys, just increase Ram weight 10 percentage, 40 Ram weight increased, 15 percent Sham weight increased. Two zeros cancel, multiply 9 15s, 135 total weight increased. Ram weight 40 increased, total weight 135 increased. So, obviously by how much percent, how much weight Sham weight increased? Ram 40 increased, Ram weight 40 increased, 
total weight one third of the increase. Obviously, shunt weight increased by 95. I want to know percent of shunt weight increase. So, percent of increase is 95 by 500 into 100. 19 percentage. So, sham weight increased by 19 percentage. So, the concept, guys, how to make the calculation part easy? That I am focusing, guys. How to make calculation part easy? Simple, guys, in the examination, whatever the value is given to you, you cancel it and you take a comfortable value. Guys, come on, think till all these days when you are writing examination. Did you cancel the values at any point of time? No. I hope most of the people, what you are doing, you know, you are taking as it is values and you are solving. No, guys, if you take as it is values, no doubt you will get the answers. No doubt at all you will get the answer, but you won't get the job. The point all of you, you need to cancel the values. In the exam, what are the values given to you? You just cancel it and you take a comfortable value. Then the problem becomes easy and you can reach the goal. No doubt you can solve the problem in 40 seconds and you can place yourself in top 100 candidates. You need to follow just 5 tricks are there guys, 5 points you need to follow. Among them, right now we are seeing the first point. In the first video we are seeing what is the first point you, are follow, you need to follow. That is how to make the calculation part easy by easy. The simple point, calculation part how to make easy if you look, cancel the value, what are the values given to you and take a comfortable value. So just now we finished the first first point guys, uh, to crack any government competitive examination, you need to follow 5 points, the first point is finished. In the next video guys, you are going to get 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5 points in the next videos. Uh, no doubt guys, follow these 5 points, you can reach your goal. So today's class just one, one point is over, next classes, next video, I am going to give what are the next points you need to follow, the five, among the 5, okay. And now guys. If you like our videos, please subscribe and activate the bell icon so that you will get immediate updates all of you about my videos. And the, no doubt at all, obviously the videos will give you a more knowledge and which is very helpful to you to get uh, to reach your goals, right? Thank you guys. I see you very much.